I'm a firm believer in the writing adage of butt in the chair, fingers on the keyboard. Like, I think you have to just write the book. Um, and I write three or four books a year, but I'm also a pantser. And um, I write all morning, but I don't always know where, where the book is going. And I don't always know what needs to happen next. If I get a little slowed down, I'll often pick up my little blank notebook and a nice pen and I back up to my the little rocking chair in my office and I'll I'll brainstorm with pen and paper and ideas rise up differently that way. Um, I work from seven in the morning till about 11 and then I need a break. I need my exercise as we all do. So I go for my, what I call my plotting walk and I'll take my hour fast walk around town and um, talk out loud to myself about what needs to happen in the book. And I always have my phone, so I'll dictate a text to myself and keep walking. Um, I know other authors have said that when they plot is when they're washing dishes or they're in the shower or doing some crafting, knitting or something. Whatever works for you. Um, other people need to change locations. You could change locations in your house. You go to the library or the park, right, or a coffee shop if it's safe. Um, whatever works. But I often, I, I firmly believe that changing location and changing modality uh, is a great way to let those ideas rise up. And if you're a plotter, you still need to plot your book. You still need to have those ideas rise up. Um, so while you're plotting, you can use the same tricks. Um, that's my tip. Happy writing.